All right. Since I did a very poor attempt at filming today, I got plenty of art supplies. I got some watercolors and lots of brushes. Here's my watercolor book. Now, the next thing to do would be to set this up so that you guys can see. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I couldn't think of anything to get as an easel, so paint it upside down so that you guys can watch the magic happen. Uh, get a glass of water, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is attempt to paint Norna from memory. So I guess first things first would be to do her hull with this beautiful brush here. So I'm going to start with brown and uh, doing this upside down. Um, okay, here I go. So her hull is kind of like like that. Hi! Hi! Are you going to step on my paint? Um, of course she also has a cabin side and bulwarks so I'll use this brush and her... See the only thing is she's not really fully wood, she's actually white. Um, hmm. Huh. I messed that up. Well, she's got a green stripe too, so I guess maybe I could do is take a little bit of white and attempt to cover that. <laughs> uh oh. All right. Well, Norna's gonna be brown now. Uh. Hmm. Um. Okay. But anyway, so she's got bulwarks. You know what? Norna's just gonna be brown. It's fine. It's fine, right? You know, it's it's all part of this whole experience of um. Oh, what did I just do? This is looking like Noah's Ark. So, we're just gonna kinda go with it. Well, uh, that's really cool. It turned out really cool. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I'm pretty happy with it. Um, anyway, so another thing Norna has which this isn't really becoming Norna anymore, but that's okay, is um, some ports on her side. And I'm going to use this brush. Alright, so there's... This one's not very round. Oh, okay, so she also has a mast, so I think I'm going to use this brush. Um, I'd say she's like that tall, I think. Sure, why not? Um, she's also got a boom, so here's her her boom here. There's the boom. She's also got a sprit, so here's her sprit here. It's a little crooked, but that's alright, right? She's also got a yard arm, so we'll just add that to it. Got a 27 foot yard arm, so it's uh, it's a lot it's a lot of uh, mass there. A lot of spar up there. Okay. Another thing she has is a 12 foot bow sprit, so we're going to add that thing onto here. Oh, cat hair. Remove the cat hair. There we go. And she's also got a rudder and a little tiller arm thing. So there's a little tiller to steer with. It's a little curly cue. There's that. I'm going to attempt to fix the uh, portholes. I, I don't. I'm not happy with them. So I'm gonna take a little black and. Uh, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. All right, we'll just kind of go with it. Sails are red. So, what brush do I want to use for her sails? Maybe this red is not. Okay, I got an idea. The red's not dark enough. I add a little black to it. But I did. Look at this mess I just made. Oh, Ava would be so unhappy. Oh, I just made brown. That might not be so bad. Oh no. Disaster. Absolute disaster. Alright, I got a rag. Let's try that again. It's watercolor, right? I can just smooth it out and... I did. Uh, ha. Huh. Oh, well, I gotta add a line. So I think what I'll do is use... She does have a lot of lines on her. 
Let's get Dead Eyes. And the Dead Eyes go back of the mast a little bit. So I guess I could start adding some Dead Eyes to her. Like that. God, I feel like I'm ruining this. Okay, so. Dead Eye number one, which is gonna blend into this, but that's okay. And then it's got lines that come up to like a band, and I think it's about right here, I'm pretty sure. And then it comes down one. There, the dead eyes. There they are right there. The cleats on her mask, so I'm gonna act like, here's a, oh jeez, all right. Black. There's a cleat. There's a go oh boy. That's all right. That's fine. Well, she's got. I think her mask is a little taller too. And they run up here. So that's kind of the. Oh gosh. Really poor ex poorly executed, but that's okay. The line that goes up. I think it like goes like this to a pulley, back down, back again to another like pulley thing. I'm pretty sure that's how it's run. Oh no! Oh no! Don't don't bleed! No! Don't bleed! Did blood? Blood? Let me fix it. This is also oh that's right. This is also a dead eye, a giant dead eye. So it actually goes onto the stem, which is kind of cool. Is on the bowsprit. This has a bobstay. It's also got a net on it. So you can, oh, wait a minute, that doesn't go on the bob stay. Oh, well. she's also got uh, Dingy Davits, a little block and tackle pulley system. A, um, this is the inner jib, and the outer jib kind of goes like, um, These are like all the reefing lines. Kitty. That water is not drinking water. So, I darken the hull a little bit and add a little bit more darkness to a couple features of the, of the boat. And this is the finished product. There it is, flipped over right side up. Ooh, I better not pick it up because it might bleed. I'm going to start an auction on this video. If anybody's interested in this picture, in the comments below, go ahead and make some offers. And the highest bid I will ship to you. The bid will start today. I usually post the videos around 8, so the ending will be at 8 o'clock at night tonight. Whoever's the highest bid, I will say who the winner is. We'll get in touch and I'll go ahead and mail this out to you. We can make the exchange through my website uh, and PayPal. As long as you can pay with a PayPal account, I can set up an invoice to invoice you and send that invoice over to you via PayPal. And we'll go from there. Have a little fun with this. A little bit of an auction. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, I'll probably be posting videos kind of like this for a little while just because I am kind of being a house dweller and I've got time to do these sort of things. Hopefully you guys enjoy these sort of videos and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you have any other ideas or things that you'd like to see. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.